Okay, for those of you new to the Science Olympiad team this year, uh, you've heard and you already know that Sayoli.org is an invaluable source of uh, reference material that you're going to be using. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log on to Sayoli.org. Uh, you're going to have to register. Everybody on the team has to be registered because um, it's a better way to interact on there. Um, you have forums, which are discussion groups around a wide variety of topics. Wiki, uh, Sayoli, which is going to give you information on events as well as um, other teams that you may want to look up, uh, competition results, uh, text exchange. This is critically important because everybody on the team should be making up at least a couple of tests. I would like to see a couple of tests, uh, at least one minimum uh, for their particular event. And then you have chat. Chat I don't go into too often, uh, but uh, a lot of the students do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through a quick run through on what the um, site offers. All forums. You're going to come down here and this is uh, your basic forum. Gives you an introduction. They haven't really updated it for next year. Uh, but you do have uh, the student forums which are going to be uh, build events, lab events, study events. These are your academics. Um, trial events which we really don't have to ask too much about. Uh, question marathons, which are great, um, and a general chat, a lot of things in there, including uh, the information for the SSSS, the Summer Science uh, Test Entrance uh, Activity. Uh, then your competition forms, invitationals, regionals, nationals, and administrative. We really don't go in there either. And team forums, and I don't even know what that's about, to tell you the truth. So let's start and look at, um, from there we go to, this is just a general overview. Uh, let's go to Wiki. So if we go to Wiki, you see all your events here. You see, this is, a, this is great information about Science Olympiad, all this stuff over here. No cheats, binders, safety glasses, trial events, calculators. And I am guessing that a lot of students have not gone through this page thoroughly. Uh, they give you forums, um, uh, information about uh, uh, past tests. These are the archive uh, tests that you have access to. Uh, all other kinds of stuff over here. And then you have your state pages, which are going to be your state uh, uh, team uh, pages. You can go up here and you can look into any, uh, oh, Bay Academy. Wow. Let's just take a look down here. Whoa! Regionals first and first. Okay, so this is going to be showing you information about us, and so if you want to compare us to other schools as you're, as you're practicing, um, it's a good idea, because this way it'll show you exactly uh, how well we did throughout the events. Uh, then we're going to go back out of Wiki, and then we're going to go into this test exchange. So the test exchange, you can see that these are all last year's tests, uh, 2019 as we go down here, and they are separated according to uh, event. And you'll notice that as you get down further, they get into 2018. And then further, you're going to get into 2017. And these are going to give you an awful lot of, um, these are from the summer input that they uh, made up. So if you make up something over the summer and they approve you, you will have access to the 2020 uh, tests, and uh, which would be great. Then when you go into chat, let's just stop in here for a second. I believe, uh, it's just out of curiosity, see if there's anybody on. Oh, there are people on here. So here are you people on here. Um, I have not, uh, whenever I go on here, people, whoops, there we go. So uh, people are going to say hi. So let's just, uh, let's just say hi.
don't know who glue stick is. We'll see if they have any response here. If not, we're just going to back out of here. And so we'll back out. I really, I really have, I really have no uh, compunction with leaving a chat group and uh, while well, people haven't answered yet. Anyway, so let's go to some of these forums and see what you can get out of them. Uh, study events. Uh, let's let's go now to general chat. And let's go into upcoming year events. So already, I believe they have, yeah, they have 33 pages on here. So the first few are going to give you information on the new events. Really, once we find out what they are, we don't really have to use this uh, particular page too much more unless you're going to be looking to see information I like th this kind of stuff. You know, when people are saying what they want to do and why they want to do it, it's usually this is just a little bit of chatter about you know about about what what has been happening with the new events that are coming up the build events you can go into any one of these and you can see not only just information about the building itself but if you go down here they are going to touch on every piece of information that's on here so if we go to the 8 minute timing that you have once they uh, start the timer until you're you're finished with your runs. So if you go into here, you're going to have a lot of people talking about all kinds of different things. Uh, this happens to be a short one. This is three posts for this. So let's go back to this. This happened to be three posts. So you can see. Uh, so yeah. So there were two replies, and the initial word that was put out there. So some of these are pretty active, like Battery Buggy B, which is us, which we're not doing. This is for last year. But this had quite a few responses. This was very, very helpful to us. Uh, when they talk about interpretation of rules, uh, you get to learn a lot. Or what other people are doing, position of the wing nut on the axle, or all kinds of stuff. You also get to see uh, people who are... Um, on other teams. So the only person uh, won, I forget who they're, what team they're from, but they're in C Division, and uh, you can see when they joined. They joined of uh, last year, April. Um, you can see uh, Windu34 has been on since 2015, graduated uh, high school already, so they're down in Florida. <clears throat> But if you start at the beginning of any one of these, if you start right here and read through, take a night and read through all the posts on. Don't worry about the ones like right now, not battery buggy so much because we're not doing battery buggy. We're doing mousetrap vehicle. But let's go over here for mousetrap vehicle C. Since that's what we're going to be doing, you might want to go in here and see what they have. For B, let's just take a look and see what they have, if they have any specific, mm, let's take a look, okay, I don't see, because, because it's, they're very similar, um, if you take a look down here, a lot of us have been looking and figuring out, how do you make the car go in reverse, okay, 285 posts, just for making the car go in reverse. So this is one of the things that you'd want to really look at if you're doing a build. I'd st I would start here and I'd work my way down. Unfortunately, this only had, I picked a bad one because if you can see, this only had uh, one response. Um, let's take a look and see one that has a bunch of them. Uh, okay, lever arm recommendation. Let's take a look at this. So, start at the beginning. Take your time and read through them. You got all summer to read these. Our lever arm pulls the string too rapidly. Um, so then they're complaining about that lever arm and they want to know what to do with it. So you're going to find people are are are, are very forthcoming with information which you wouldn't really expect them to be. 
I wouldn't expect them to be. But now that we are where we are, doing very well, now I get it. Because they can put out a lot of stuff. They know you'll give information back, and they'll learn. You'll learn. And what will happen is the top teams, it comes down to even if you had the exact same mousetrap vehicle, it depends on who's running the machine and how well they know it and how many times they practice with it. So you could read all of these and find out all the secrets of every team out there. But unless you take it and start working with it, it's not going to help. And they want to put this information out because they want to get feedback on their ideas as well. So let's take a look down. Okay, so what materials is everyone using? So carbon fiber. So let's see what they are. They're a grad. They're out in California. They're using carbon fiber rods, 6 millimeter. So they might want to use that. Why would they use that over um, the dowel? Probably because it's less likely to break. Let's go down. So anyway, we won't go down. We'll come back. Um, let's go back to our student forums. And uh, let's go down to a question marathon. So you people who are doing academics, these are critically important. Everything's critically important. Um, and just keep in mind, though, these are only, these are for last year. So really don't worry about this yet. These will start getting kicked up after uh, mid-July when, uh, after I come back from the, uh, the uh, Science Olympiad Summer Institute because then the coaches will have the information. They'll start posting, and this site, Sioli.org, is going to get very hot at that point. So just start looking at these. Oh, Patricia sent an attachment. I went to high school with Patricia. Uh, back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Okay, so let's go down here and let's just take a look at something. Yes. Okay, so crime busters you can look at because no matter what, no matter what happens with the crime busters, it's still going to be uh, very similar every year. So let's go down and see. Uh, okay, they're talking about re chemical reactions, hydrogen peroxide. Um, they're talking about these kind of things. So pH of ascorbic acid. These are things you're going to want to be testing yourself on. Okay? Uh, what else? And then they're going to give you answers. Normally they blot out the answers. Ascorbic acid is 2. Is that correct? Huh. Okay, let's take a look if I see any of the answers that are blotted out. I don't know why I don't see them covered. Let me take a look. See if later on they covered them. Oh, here they are. So here you go on and you can, uh, for number three, what two types of chromatography other than paper chromatography? So you have grass, uh, gas chromatography and liquid chromatography. So I don't think that's what they're looking for. I think they're maybe looking for uh, solid plate chromatography. I'm not sure. But anyway, but you can go through these, make notes in your notebook. You get an awful lot of ideas from them. Uh, that's just a general overview, and uh, I hope you uh, pick something up from it. I'm going to be doing quite a bit with this screenomatic.com, uh, putting these uh, informational guidelines out there. Take a minute to, you know, to if you haven't heard enough of my voice all year, take a minute to listen to them. We'll be going through Sayoli.org. I'm also setting up something for uh, the Quizlet, which uh, there's Again, a ton of information out there. I know a lot of you put the Quizlets together, and so I would like to have a place where <clears throat> we're all storing them. And if we could do it online, that would be great, because uh, I paid for the upgraded version for the teachers. Not that that makes any difference that I paid for it, just that you will have all have access to it. Okay, so uh, all I can say is uh, Nats 2020 exclamation point, and this is Dr. C signing off.